friends, my name is Michelle Renee, but I like to be called Giggles. So this is the next monthly favorites video that I have. I'm dressed like this with cheetah print. I'm not really the biggest fan of cheetah print, but I held on to this dress for a reason because I just auditioned for Audrey in my college's production of Little Shop of Horrors! Woo! I really hope I get Audrey. I love the character. She's been a dream role for a few years now. Um, but I also put down that I'd be okay like being an urchin or, you know, I haven't actually done ensemble like ever in um, in a theater show so I'm thinking you know like uh, I think it would be good for me to at least do ensemble once or a couple of times just to instill like teamwork and humility because it's not always about lead characters or characters that even have a name it it matters about everybody so I've, I've been trying to get to grips with that but I really do want Audrey but we'll see what's gonna happen so the first thing that I have for this video is it's another spam lot thing I'm sorry it's I know Spam a lot on my channel should have died a long time ago, but I have one more thing. So, a while back, I made a video about all the costume pieces that musicals had let me take home or buy or keep from them. And um, Spam a lot uh, let me take one home because they made this. I, I first have a little bit of a story before I show you this incredible thing. So, Lady of the Lake had a certain prop that she had to take off, and uh, one night it was thrown and a part of it kind of broke. So they were like, okay, let's make one for, for Lady of the Lake instead so that, you know, when, uh, when it needs to be thrown, it doesn't break. So what they made and what they let me take home is the actual helmet for the scene where she strip teases, God forgive me, into another costume. She starts out in like this armor kind of stuff and then she like does this kind of thing where she strips out of it and then she's in another costume and it's really fun. But it's so great because uh, they did a lot of the same stuff they did for Clue with all the foam stuff. So they have like really interesting detail. This whole thing is foam. Look at the inside. It's It was big enough to uh, go over my head and the other Lady of the Lake's head. So that was really cool. And I just like how they did the shape. Look at its profile. See how it's like... It's, it's very fun. Um, I don't know if you can see in my closet back there, but on the top I kept like the Miss Scarlet wig that's also made out of foam. So this one's been a... Uh, living next to it. <laughs> Another thing from Spamalot, or rather Spamalot related, so I have a subscriber out there who loves Spamalot and when they found out that I got cast as the Lady of the Lake, they took the effort to make me this and send it to me. It's the first piece of mail I've ever gotten on this channel so that's really exciting and it's incredible. Look at that. It's so cute. Um, I took a picture as um, like in this exact pose and it, it's on Instagram somewhere on one of my spam a lot um, posts and Find Your Grail is, is one of the songs that I sing. It's, it was actually my favorite one to do. And so he, it was his first time photocopying and he's incredible. He's one of my subscribers. If you guys want to commission him to do something like this, his username is Mecco5. You probably might have come across him in the comments or so. But yeah, and if he comments on this video, I'll pin his uh, comment so that you guys can can get more info on stuff like this. This is crazy. This is a bunch of beads. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but this is a bunch of beads. And it's crazy. They're so teeny tiny. And on the back, it's so cute because he made like a grail. <laughs> because because it's, it's, you know, Monty Python, the Holy Grail. So yeah, it's so special. It's, it's just so cute. Like when I get married and get like my own house, I want to like hang it up somewhere just so I could remember. <laughs> Sadly, I didn't do too many theater things this month, but I did listen to a couple of soundtracks or what was available from them. So the first one that I listened to was Prom the Musical. I've been hearing a lot about this show. Um, in my honest opinion, it's not my cup of tea. It's just, uh, it's not super like, like exciting or, or mundane. It's not really mundane either, but like it personally wasn't in my interests, I guess. But it was a really cute, touching story, and there's definitely going to be some new, um, audition pieces that you can take from that, because it's one that's, I think, up and rising, but not too many people have heard it yet. And last but not least, um, I didn't technically listen to the entire soundtrack of this musical, but it's like released a couple of things here and there, and it's up and coming and pretty new and it's called Beetlejuice, the musical. It's gonna be on Broadway and I'm so excited. And so I'm so jealous of the girl who gets to play Lydia. She's like 17 and she's like already gonna be on Broadway. It's, it's nuts. But um, yeah, so I listened to some of the songs. There's like a YouTube channel for Beetlejuice the musical. They have a couple of songs out there already 
and I've listened to them and it is fantastic. I'm so excited for this musical. Oh my gosh, I hope I get to audition for it one day. And yeah, that's all the theater related stuff I did this month. Hopefully I'll have a little bit more coming at you next month. I'm hoping to see Avenue Q. That may or may not happen. I hope it does. But yeah, so yeah, tell me about any theater things you guys did this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video.